Today, we're diving into an exciting new feature in Adobe Illustrator's beta version. Specifically, we'll be exploring the brand new mock-up feature that allows you to seamlessly integrate your vector artwork with real life images. Jump straight into the Adobe Illustrator beta version. If you don't know where to find and install this, I'll leave a card in the top right hand corner and I'll also drop a link in the description below. So on my artboard, I have two example design concepts as well as two reference images, which we're gonna use as the base of the mock-up. And the first thing you wanna do is just make sure that the artwork is sitting above the image layer. So you can do that by selecting the design concept, right clicking and going to arrange, bring to front. And then you just wanna make a selection around both the image and the artwork and go to object mock-up and then select May. The mock-up feature automatically adjusts your vector artwork to match the perspective and dimension of the image. However, you can still fine-tune it using the transform handles to adjust the positioning and the rotation. Once you're happy with where the artwork needs to sit, you might just want to go to the opacity panel under the appearance section and then just change the blend mode to something like multiply and this will just enable the shadows to shine through and make it look a bit more realistic and we can also repeat the process and create a t-shirt mock-up as you can see the artwork reacts in the exact same way following the contours and dimensions of the image and we can just change that to multiply as well and then once you've finished finessing the mock-ups you simply just save that out as a jpeg or a pdf or if you needed to similar to how the clipping mask works you can select the artwork and release it into its original form by going to mock up and then selecting release and like i said that works similar to the clipping mask feature if you've enjoyed this tutorial and want to explore more exciting techniques be sure to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials feel free to leave me a comment below i'd love to hear from the community and i'm always eager to engage with fellow creatives until next time i'll see you all in the next one